solving a linear inequality with multiple occurrences of the variable problem type 2. So I want to solve the inequality for y and simplify my answer as much as possible. So I'm going to go ahead and rewrite the inequality down here. 9y minus 32 is greater than or equal to negative 2 times the quantity 2 minus 8y. So uh, before I solve this, I need to look at each side of my inequality, the left side and the right side individually, and see if I can do anything to simplify. So if I look at the left side here, I have 9y minus 32. They're not like terms. This term has a y, and that term has no variable. It's a constant term. So I can't do anything to simplify on the left. But on the right, I have parentheses. So I can distribute or multiply this negative 2 across both terms inside the parentheses. So on this side of my inequality, I'm going to have negative 2 times positive 2 is negative 4, and negative 2 times negative 8y is going to be a positive 16y. And since there was no simplifying on the left, I'm just going to bring down the 9y minus 32 on that side. So now I have both a variable term and a constant term on each side of my inequality. So the first thing that I need to do is um, zero out or eliminate one of the variable terms. So I'm just left with variables on one side of my inequality. Um, so I'm going to subtract the 9y from both sides to zero it out over here on the left. And the only reason I chose to do the 9y instead of the 16y is just because 9 is smaller than 16. Um, but when I simplify, I'm left with negative 32 on the left is greater than or equal to negative 4. And then when I combine these two terms, 16y minus 9y is 7y. Now I have constant terms on both sides of the inequality. So I'm going to zero out this negative 4 by adding 4 to both sides. And when I simplify, negative 32 plus 4 is going to be negative 28 is greater than or equal to 7y. And my last step is going to be dividing by 7. And I'm dividing by a positive number here, so I don't need to flip my inequality symbol. But when I simplify, I'm going to have y on the right. And negative 28 divided by 7 is negative 4 on the left. If I wanted to rewrite this inequality with my variable on the left, then I can go ahead and flip-flop the right and the left side expressions. But when I do that, I need to also flip-flop my signs so that the pointed side stays with the y, or the less than side. And the open side of my inequality stays with the negative 4. So it'll go like that. Either form is fine for your solution.